Hi, this is Ken Nelson with another orientation video, this time on how you stand while you're shooting. Now this is called the stance, and there's not really one way to stand while you're shooting. In fact, you can run while you're shooting, you can move while you're shooting, you can lay down while you're shooting. So this is sort of the basic way to build a stance, not the only way or the end result, but it's gonna get you pretty far, pretty fast. Now we have some goals for the stance and my mentor in shooting, Ron Avery, told me these goals and I think they make a lot of sense. The first goal is recoil management. So recoil management, when the, when the gun shoots, the bullet goes that way with energy and the equal energy comes back. Now by the time that the gun's done with all the springs and the weight of the slide and other things, with a nine millimeter in this uh, Glock, you're gonna feel nine to 11 pounds of push this way. That's recoil. The stance's job is to manage that recoil, basically to say, thank you, recoil. Okay, now you're gonna go back to where you're supposed to belong. And since we're training you to build a system that will work at gunfight speed, which is four to five shots a second, in practice, you're gonna get 45 to 50 pounds in one second when you're shooting. So we need to build a stance that puts 60 pounds forward and wins over the recoil of a gun being shot very fast. Okay, so that's the first goal for our stance is recoil management. Now, a big part of our doctrine is giving you time, being early, right? So. The next part of our doctor is that we stand the way we aim. That's the next part of the stance's goals is to provide what's called natural point of aim. When I'm standing here, I'm actually aiming my left, right, my windage, as they call it. I have that done right now. If I wanted to shoot over there, I'd stand that way. If I want to shoot from here to there, I'll shoot there and then I'll rotate my spine and line up at this target. Natural point of aim is a key move. In my opinion, it's the second most important key move only after an effective trigger pull. We're gonna teach you that a little bit later. All right, so that's the second goal. Standing the way we aim, natural point of aim. The third goal is mobility. Too many stances that I see are not mobile. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna run that way. All right, so again in our giving you time, making you early, what I like to do is build a stance that's really close to how I stand. I'm standing talking to you on the video and I'm standing exactly the way I would shoot. This stance meets all the criteria. 60 pounds forward, it's gonna defeat the recoil or manage the recoil. Uh, I'm aimed at my left right is covered based on how I'm standing. My skeleton's aligned to take care of that. And I feel pretty mobile, I can move. So a great stance doesn't have to be a complicated stance. I like to keep it as close to natural you as I can. All right, so we have some drills, some homework that's gonna help you build this stance. The first one is the wall drill. Now, I hope you have a wall at your house. I think most people do. Other, in other videos, I'll tell you how to do this at a range where you might not have a wall. But for now, we're at home doing homework, so let's do the wall. Now, we don't need a gun for this. In fact, a lot of orientation, you're gonna get the benefit without a gun. So we need a wall. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand and brush the, thing, the wall with my fingertips, okay? Then, once I'm at that right fingertip distance, I'm going to take my strong hand and put it out and make a fist like I'm throwing a punch. I'm gonna take my weak hand, throw the same punch, and wrap it over the strong hand. Okay, it looks like this. Strong hand punch, weak hand punch, wrap. Then, I'm going to fall forward at my ankles, not at my hip, not hinge, at my ankles, I'm gonna flex forward until I support my weight on the wall. The complete sequence looks like this. Fingertips, fist, fist, 
wrap, fall in. Now, naturally, good things are going to happen. You're comfortable and relaxed. Nothing is tense that doesn't need to be. Your wrist is stiff to support your weight. You're comfortable. You could do this for a long time. The only thing that would really stop you is boredom. It's very close to the way you stand anyway. Okay, one more time. Fingertips, throw the punch, throw the punch, wrap, falling at your ankles. That's one rep of the wall drill. I'd like you to do 10 reps, two times, twice a day, morning, evening, okay? Focus on doing them right. Another thing that I do is I break them down every time. Then I do it again, punch, punch, wrap, fall. Then I remember how I feel right now. That's the key thing, I remember how I feel. At the end of each set of 10, build it off the wall. And that's a good rep. Okay, the wall drill, it's not gonna give you the stance that you're gonna use in all situation, but it's gonna give you a great platform to use when we first get into live fire. Okay, now, that's the wall drill. Now, the second drill is called equal hands. This is working on the goal of natural point of aim. Okay, what it's really teaching is to use your skeleton and your, your uh, spine and hips and keep them together like a turret. Okay, a lot of times when I see people miss, especially during more dynamic shooting, what they're doing is they're twisting. See how this isn't equal anymore? It starts equal and then they twist. And what's gonna happen is you're generally gonna make a mistake in the direction that your arms are weak. You're also not gonna get the same recoil management, the same muzzle flip management. Everything goes hinky when your hands aren't equal. So this is a very simple drill. Identify three or four things, and we're gonna line up first on the one. We're gonna aim at them with equal hands. Okay, what this is doing is making sure that our spine and our hips are aligned. Equal hands. Then I'm gonna to go to the next thing. I'm gonna keep my hands equal. Go back to that, hands equal. Go to my next one, hands equal. Next one, hands equal. Okay, these are making our spine and hips work together. And it's the key, a key move of standing like you ain't. Now, um, another way I describe this, a lot of people seem to, to dig, is everybody gets a serving of lead, right? You get a serving of lead, you get a serving of lead. Oh, you get a serving of lead. If the hands are equal, just think about giving somebody a piece of or a pie. Here's your pie. Here's your pie. Here's your pie. You don't twist and give people pie. Key move, the, the equal hands drill. Now, this is something that, that you should do for a long time until it's natural. Right? I don't do it anymore, it's perfectly natural for me. But when you're building these early muscle memories, it is super important to do this correctly. When I move, it works. When I'm shooting on the move, it works. Okay, it's a key fundamental move. I want you to do 10 of these, two sets of 10, twice a day. What is success? Are your hands equal? I mean, the name of the, the drill is the name of the success. Right, the equal hands drill. Now, the next one is a, a result of the equal hands drill. It's called natural point of aim. Natural point of aim means that when I bring my hands up, my gun, and when I move, that they're all aligning together. It's a very precise way to measure the benefit of the equal hands drill. What we're gonna need to do this is, you don't need a gun, Dummy gun, you could do it, and unloaded, no ammo in the room, uh, handgun, I do that um, as long as I've identified a safe direction, and I always do this drill every time I go to the range at, at a, in my bay or at a safe table if I'm at a match. Natural point of aim, sometimes I'll call that NPOA. I'll write it as NPOA. 
Um, the, what we need to do this is we need to find a vertical line, pretty narrow one, a corner of a wall, something up and down and narrow. Um, so I'm going to use a door frame over there. I'm going to line up on it. So right now I'm using this V just to line up uh, my sights on this. Okay, I've got my stance that I built with my wall drill. Okay, I'm not going to do this one in a stance that, that, that uh, doesn't work, right? So there it is. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my eyes and I'm going to go 30 degrees left using the same technique I did with the equal hands, 30 degrees to the right, and then back. And then I'm going to open my eyes. Now, in this case, I'm off a little bit. Now, if I to fix this, I don't just move it. Okay, what I do is I move, this is my turret up here. These are my treads. I'm gonna move my treads and move them over. There, now that's right. Okay, that's actually where I naturally point. Now I'm gonna shut my eyes and do it again. Perfect. Okay, that's one rep. Now, I want you to do 10 reps twice, two sets of 10, twice a day. What is a successful rep? It's one you don't have to fix. So if you need to fix it, that's a bad rep, doesn't count, okay? The other thing I do is I always break it down. And then I pick something, either the same thing and I break it down, or I break it down and then I pick something else. Because what you're really burning in is your ability to arrive at your natural point of aim with your skeleton aligned. Okay, you build that initially with the equal hands and then you make it more refined and precise and test it all the time using natural point of aim. If I go to the range of my natural point of aim, I have trouble getting 10 uh, good ones in a row. That's my problem for the day. Any of my other practice ideas go out the window. I need to fix natural point of aim. It's the key to our left, right. Now humans are up, down. We have more variance we can get away with there. Not much left, right, right? Central nervous zone, about this wide, I, I don't have much room for mistakes. I want to make sure that my left right is correct if I'm in the business of shooting humans. All right, so that's the stance. Remember, our goal is to get 60 pounds forward to manage recoil. Our, our goal is to stand like you aim so that when we stand, we actually got the important left right aiming part of our fire control done. Um, and we're going to build a natural point of aim that's very precise so that we know that we're doing that as perfectly as we can. Do your homework. It's going to benefit you for a lifetime if you build in these habits right now and going forward. I'm Ken Nelson. I'll see you on the range.